Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Reagan. if you are new here. So today we're going to be doing an unboxing first impression of the new Westman Atelier. This is their lip suede. I'm honestly not 100% sure what this is. I just, I always am looking what's new, what's come out in clean beauty, and this was something that has been new in the last month at least. So I decided to buy it. I would like to try their foundation eventually, but I just haven't kind of gotten on that train yet. I just have so many foundations. I'm really waiting if I really want to try that or not, so we'll see if I do. I'm hoping I will, but it is pricier. This is a pricier luxury clean brand, so yeah, I just... I usually kind of buy these things in pieces and then do something with it. So we're just going to open up this lip suede. I just got it in the mail. So I wanted to do an unboxing and first impression with you. I rarely do unboxing. So you unbox it and then it just says Westman Atelier. And then the envelope says Westman Atelier. And then you open it up and it just has... A receipt so this was $85 so it was pretty pricey but I will say just kind of the presentation of all of this is really nice so this inside box has consciously crafted beauty and then when I open this Westman Atelier then it says please recycle me and then it has this gold sticker on it the tissue paper is all um, custom. That's what I was trying to say. It just says West Me Not Lee and then it has their signature on it. Um, so this is interesting. The box wasn't closed all the way. <laughs> just pulling it out. This is how it is. Oh, so it's just a red box. It says Westman Atelier Lip Suede. And then it has this little bag. Oh, I'm kind of surprised. It is all red. Then how the heck do I open this? It doesn't have any... Do I slide it? How do I open that? It doesn't have like a button. Okay, I guess it's just magnetic closure. Oh, wow. I'm gonna try and zoom in right now just so you guys can see. Just the texture I thought would look a lot more like lipsticks or be more creamy, but it's actually more like watercolors or something. I don't know, like felt colors. If anyone remembers that or if that looks familiar to anyone, that's what this looks like to me. So this is a very, very luxury line of makeup. I did try their mascara. I'll have the video linked up here. I wasn't too impressed with that mascara just because it actually ended up towards the end of its life wearing pretty nicely. And I do still have it around because pro I'll probably keep it around a little bit just because the packaging's pretty and stuff. But overall, it just wouldn't be one I would repurchase. But this is kind of different. And that's why I'm, I'm really curious how these wear. Because I did pull, just I was thinking with this video, I pulled different kind of lip products that I have. Like I have a stain, I have a traditional lipstick, I have a lip, liquid lip, excuse me, I have a balm, I have a uh, wet lip oil, and then I have a gloss that's just super pigmented. I really, really, really have no clue how these will wear. So I'm just going to take, I have this little brush. Oh, interesting. Okay. So it does now feel just more like a lipstick whenever I'm rubbing it like this. Okay. I think it's just that top layer that really does look like an ink cartridge. I'm just using the bright red shade. It is kind of cool. It's kind of interesting just the way this is done. Very different. I was truly expecting just, this is actually how I thought it would be, but the packaging and how this is, looks like it was going to be a, not so creamy, but when you kind of get into the product, it is a lot creamier. So this is something to apply with a lip brush or I just am using this eyeshadow brush. Kind of funny, I got this for a dollar at the Dollar Tree and this for $85. So kind of how, funny how some things work. That's a really, really pretty, it's like a red orange shade. I'm actually gonna do something a little bit different. I'm going to take 
a different shade and put it on my top lip and then I'll kind of blend them together. I just want to try a couple of different things. So I'm going to use this red, this deep red. It's more like a brick red on my upper lip. Kind of a cool product. I think this is actually one of those products that I, I'm saying this early, but I think it may be worth it. Just straight up because, I'm not even finished doing my lips, but you do get effectively through four different lip colors in this. And they're all usable and different enough from one another. It's not, it's like an artist lip kit in a way. But I honestly, I haven't liked a lot of artists like color correcting kits or highlighting kits that are available to the public in the past and I've been critical of them because just realistically most people only need like one or two colors to color correct or will use one or two highlights or bronzers or whatever but something like this I do switch up my look daily with my lip and you can kind of mix them together and make your own thing so I think that's just kind of a cool concept yeah that's really that's really really cool I don't know I just was I was expecting it to be like this, but I also wasn't sure. That's why I pulled out, just for comparison purposes, this shade Fig that's a lip and cheek, but it's a stain, and this is from Mad Hippie. I was just kind of wanted to compare some other products I already have to this. Um, I'll use this really deep shade right here. I'm gonna actually use a brush just I feel like the brushes it's a little bit easier to avoid mixing colors with them this is just such a matte lipstick but it's not a lipstick it's like a lip pot so yeah that's a lot more opaque I was wondering would this be a stain and then just comparing it to obviously these shades are all very different but I am more comparing it for formulation purposes so this is the Noya lip gloss. I used this in Top Shelf Tuesday a few weeks back and it's more like a lip caramel or something of that nature where I feel like it's kind of like a glossy liquid lip because it is pretty opaque. So that's definitely different. And then I have my Oleo E Oso number nine balm. So that's definitely a lot more sheer and then I have just a normal lipstick. I think this inconsistency, this is just a Red Apple Girls lipstick. Yeah, that's a lot more comparable to this just in terms of opaqueness. So what else did I bring out? I have one more thing. I have this Honest Beauty liquid lip. This actually dries down this liquid lip to much more of a matte. But yeah, I really think the most comparable is the lipstick to the consistency of this. I'm pretty impressed with it. It's different. I think that the shades um, are pretty, they're realistically wearable, right? Like if you're going through it for neutral looks, this probably wouldn't be your gal. But if you do like a bold lip just with all kinds of different tones in it, I think this is really, really beautiful. So I will include this in a Top Shelf Tuesday. Um, yeah, I kind of, the, again, big words. I do think this is more worth it to spend a product like this that's $85, but you effectively get four different lip colors that are pretty pigmented. I mean, I did a different kind of style of lip with this. And yeah, I just, I'm really impressed with that. It's really opaque and different. It's different than what we've seen in Clean Beauty. The branding is really nice and luxurious. That's why I wanted to share the unboxing with you because that's where you really kind of experience like the luxury of this. And one thing I do think is cool about Westman Atelier is they are a luxury brand, but they truly are a luxury brand. Everything about it from the boxes, to how you unwrap it, to the packaging being really custom and me not knowing how to open it because it's just a magnetic closure. So yeah, it's just, it's different and it's kind of, it's kind of a breath of fresh air and clean beauty, which I think we need in a way. And what I mean by that is we get a lot of brands that come in the prestige category. And I do think it's nice makeup wise to have something for the people who have really liked Chanel 
or something like that because it can be hard to get those people to use clean products or have a recommendation if they're looking for something that's clean because there just hasn't been a lot of stuff in the past. So I think Westman Atelier would be a really good option for a lot of people and Kiara Wise too. I think this is a different kind of product. So far, just first impression. It's not like with the mascara where I was really disappointed. This one I actually do think is pretty and pretty usable and user friendly. You do have to use a brush, a lip brush to use it. Again, I just used old eyeshadow brushes or really cheap eyeshadow brushes. So guys, thank you so much for stopping by the channel. Let me know your thoughts. Let me know kind of how you're feeling when I do something like this. It's a little bit more luxury. I always like to know. And yeah, have a wonderful, wonderful day or evening wherever you are in the world.